guys. Happy Friday. Hope you're still all doing well and looking forward to a beautiful weekend. We are going to read a book today that was one of my favorites when I was a little girl. It's called Where Have the Unicorns Gone? It's by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Ruth Sanderson. I think I liked it so much because the words are beautiful. It's kind of written like a poem and the pictures are beautiful as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Where have the unicorns gone? They have left their haven of greening bowers, of dappledown trees and yellow-eyed flowers, their dimly, dimity dells and golden glades, where shadows shift in silver shades. They have followed the path where the nightingale calls. Down, down to the water that tumbles and falls to splash in the silver drifts of pools. Where have the unicorns gone? Routed by gouts of iron red flames, by helmeted knights and their steel weapon games, they have galloped past castles of towering stone, gouged from the hillsides from which birds have flown, past iron plowed fields, past grazed over ground. They have galloped away, never looking around, to wade in the perfect peace of ponds. Where have the unicorns gone? Startled by turns of the collecting mills, echoing hard through the catacombed hills, and the chuckering trains on the long dark miles, and the sawing of trees, and the stacking of piles, and the cataphonetics of city and town. They have fled the noise, going down, 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 to the rambling, tumbling streams. Where have the unicorns gone? They have scattered far from the noxious smog, wrapping themselves in wee wisplets of fog, leaving the iron sharp city straight scapes, fleeing in graying and tattered moon capes, away from the scenting of fire and fume. Away from the odor of spillage and gloom, down to the ribbon-rolled river. Where have the unicorns gone? They have bounded beneath the webbing of wires, the contrails of rockets and other steel flyers. Silken and swift and silver and streak, they gallop through yesterday into next week. They have all disappeared to the back of beyond. And into the flowering moment of dawn, down away to the endless sea. Will we ever see them again? If you go at night, when the moon is full, when the waves and tide exert a pull, if you bury your toes in the shadowy sand and cast your eyes away from the land, in the moment that separates nighttime and dawn, the instant of daydream that's here and then gone, you might see the toss of a mane or a horn and the wavery shape of escaped unicorn.
in that watery Eden, the sea. I hope you enjoyed that too. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.